heard there was a man who learned that most car accidents occur within a mile of home. So we moved. When we think of defensive driving, we often focus on highway situations. The fact of the matter is, we need to be just as careful close to home, because that's where we do most of our driving. We can't let our familiar surroundings keep us from driving defensively. Defensive driving begins with the proper attitude. Have in mind that you won't let anyone take your safety away from you. You will be aware of your surroundings, road conditions, other vehicles, and hazards. And the first person to be concerned with is you. Start with your own environment. Don't leave without securing all occupants, including children and pets. Watch for loose items that could become projectiles during evasive maneuvers. Driving too fast or too slow increases the chance of an accident. Never drive impaired. Alcohol is a factor in half of all fatal crashes. Never drink and drive. Other impairments include being sleepy, angry, daydreaming, or talking. If you suddenly wonder how you got where you are, you're not paying enough attention. Keep your windows clean and uncluttered. No fuzzy dice and no stickers. Keep your car in good shape so that it handles properly. Maintain tires, lights, brakes, suspension, wheel alignment, and steering. Always use your signals. Avoid other vehicles' blind spots. Don't drive faster than your headlights. If you can't stop within the distance you can see, you're going too fast. Avoid driving over debris in the road. Even harmless looking items can cause damage or an accident. Keep your wheels straight when waiting to turn left at an intersection. That way, if you're hit from behind, your car won't be pushed into oncoming traffic. My daddy always said that when you drive, you're driving five cars. Yours, the one in front, the one behind, and the two on either side. You can't trust that other drivers will do the right thing, so you've got to be aware of what they're doing at all times. If you see another car driving erratically, weaving, crossing lanes, etc., stay back. Take the next right turn if you're in town, or the next exit if you're on the highway. Notify the police if you see someone driving dangerously. Never follow too close. The minimum distance is the two second rule. Pick a landmark ahead like a tree or a road marker. When the car in front of you passes it, start counting. One, 1,000, two, 1,000. If you pass the landmark before reaching two, 1,000, you're following too close. Remember that the two second rule is the minimum. It assumes that you're alert and aware. Three seconds is safer. Move out to five seconds if it's foggy or rainy. Someone is likely to move into that forward safety zone. Just drop back and keep a safe distance. If someone follows you too closely, just move over. Don't play chicken by contesting your right of way or racing to beat someone to emerge. Whoever loses that contest has the potential to lose big and you don't want any part of that. So stay alert, constantly scan around your car and arrive safely. I'm Melissa Cannon for Autonet TV.